Can you tell me your full name? Uh, my name is Elias Malekel Udup. Thank you. And where do you come from? I come from uh, Mokalo, near Angamali, five kilometers farther from Angamali. Okay. And do you work or do you study? Yes, I work. I work as a sales manager at one of the two wheeler shops okay. in Angamali. Great. Great, thank you. Okay, now let's look at computers. Do you think computers help society? Of course. Uh, nowadays we cannot imagine uh, without having computers in workplace or in uh, um, office and in institutions anywhere. Um, do you think computers are bad for health? Yes, sometimes. It depends on the people. If, it is in, if they are in old age, it affects them because um, continually uh, working with the computers, it can damage their eyes. Uh, sitting uh, long hours with computers that damage their you know, physical metabolism and all this. Okay. Um, and how do you think computers have changed the world? Yeah, no, uh, the computers have a tremendous change in the society. Before, uh, for example, we can say when we go to any office in Kerala, we have to stand long queues maybe hours, maybe days, like that. Now, all of a sudden, we can do that. If, for example, if you go to electricity office, anywhere in the government offices, uh, for example, uh, in the railway station, it is done quickly. Okay. Uh, and now, let's talk about reading. Did your parents read to you when you were a child? Yes, of course. Um, my mother, though she, she was not having good high education, while uh, I was a child, she, she used to uh, sing lullaby to me while, while I was sleeping, and also she used to tell me the stories, fair, fairy tales, and all this. Uh, do you read for pleasure very often? Yes, I read for pleasure very often. Because um, when I was tra when I am traveling, uh, when I sit idle some time, I have that I have some pleasure to read a lot. Um, and what kinds of books or magazines do you buy? I uh, buy many types of magazines. I buy, for example, you can say this health magazines and uh, for uh, uh, some family magazines and so other. Uh, I mean. Um, uh, cartoon magazines, so on. Um, which do you find easier, reading in English or writing in English? Yes, of course it is reading in English. Writing it needs a um, lot of complications, uh, uh, lexical resources and uh, grammatical and all this. But reading it is easy, we can read it mm -hmm. without looking at it. Perfect. Okay, we're going to move on and look at part two. Uh, you will have one minute to prepare. Okay, you may yeah. begin. I like to describe a little person in my family. That's my, uh, my uncle. Um, I call him uncle because that's, he's my mother's uncle. He's a nice gentleman. Uh, we used to uh, speak a lot with him because I share with his uh, old age experiences and old age life because I am not uh, aware of that because I, I can uh, get this experience only by reading or watching television. But direct to, direct, direct to a person, it gives me much inspiration to live on with my life. Um, this person uh, is like, uh, you know, very ordinary person, uh, but he doesn't have much uh, formalities and all of this. He's very nice and very approachable man, and he can guide me and be, and very simple after all. Um, he used to, uh, uh, you know, speak things uh, with uh, you know, normal way of talking, without any uh, kind of uh, extra, you know, imaginative, you know. But he is a straight man of uh, character. Uh, I see him very often. <clears throat> I think um, 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 every week I meet him. Well, every week I go, go to my mother's house and meet him. He's 
almost uh, available uh, with his uh, you know special chair on on the you know backyard of this house uh, and i uh, enjoy talking to this person because uh, i got a lot of inspirations from him because from my childhood days he used to get me many things uh, he used to uh, talk to me about many things uh, regarding to uh, obey my parents uh, obey the elders and obey the uh, you know government officials and be cool very cool even though they are uh, more uh, any I mean, talk some abusive words or something like that it's, uh, okay. it should be I'll stop you there yeah. thank you very much it was two minutes um, do other people in your family like talking to this person yes of course almost all people in my family uh, like him because he's so so simple and uh, down to down to earth man Okay, let's go on and talk about elderly people, elderly people who yeah. live with their families. In your country, do most grandparents live in the same house as their children and grandchildren? Yeah, it is uh, depends upon their duty and uh, their work. I am staying alone because I bought a house and my parents they have a home, and my younger brother is with them. That is, they are staying alone. For us, uh, it's small a small house. We anyway manage to live. I own my own way. Those so parents is not with me. Um, what are the advantages and disadvantages for grandparents of living in the same house as their children and grandchildren? Of course, uh, uh, we can say there's more advantages than disadvantages. Because um, in my child, uh, myself and my uh, wife, we have a, uh, I mean, um, generation gap. Uh, if my parents is with me, they can advise them. They can very simply advise because m most of the pan grandparents are retired. They have enough time to take care of the ch children and give beautiful advices and uh, compassionate to them. They are not hurry. Uh, they are, they can uh, do many things to them to help to study, to do their work, to advise, etc. Great. Great. Um, now let's talk about retirement. Yeah. Do you think some people retire from their jobs too early? Yes, some people retire <coughs> from their job very early because of some health uh, conditions or because of, because of some uh, people's uh, you know, absence. Some people go abroad, they don't have to take care of. Uh, so they uh, take the voluntary retirement uh, uh, from their job and take up the after their family. Um, why do you think some people feel unhappy when they first retire from work? Because uh, why, some people are quite unhappy with their retired life. Why? Because in, while they are uh, in job, they have everything from, uh, from morning to till uh, the nine to five job. Uh, from morning they get uh, all the facilities in their uh, workplace, even food. Um, accommodations uh, and uh, health insurances and all the all the facilities but once they retire they feel that they they are fish out of water uh, everything is lost one day it make it makes some some bad feelings to some people um, what types of hobby do people enjoy doing after they've retired yes yeah, some people travel a lot some people uh, uh, choose to reside with their you know, uh, distant relatives, far away from home. Uh, some people uh, uh, read books, write stories of their experiences of the past. And some people be religious and they travel in religious places. And they believe uh, their religion and practice in different ways of mannerisms. Um, now let's consider old age in the future. What kinds of problems can be caused when the proportion of elderly people in a country keeps rising? Because uh, the, it will affect the, uh, you know, the uh, manpower. Because if the majority of people are getting old, we need, there will be lack of young people to work. Uh, it happens in many countries like Japan and all the China and all the, there, um, elderly people are more uh, compared to young people. But India, luckily, we, we have uh, young people the highest in the world. 
So it will reflect in the workplace or in the society. We can keep everything young and good. Right. Um, and in what ways might the lives of elderly people be different in the future? Yeah, it, uh, due to the advent of technologies and uh, uh, all other things, uh, we can uh, we are getting more advanced day by day. There will be sophisticated uh, technologies for health treatment, uh, and uh, um, uh, you know, government are planning to give much money to uh, for the health and all this. Of course, there will be good uh, advancement towards uh, their well-being or their you know their future. I hope so. Great. Thank you. That, that's the end of test. Okay. Mm -hmm.